Today, uh, it's early. The sun's kicked up there. If it's not that early, it's probably about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I just got down here and I'm about to get started doing a little trail cutting. What a view from right here. Yeah, there's the pole barn. Way up there on the top of the hill. Over here, we've got some great trails going back to the creek. And over here is the opening that takes us into the creek. But right over here, all through there, the creek runs the entire length. And at this point in time, we don't have any trails going down to the creek. And there's some beautiful spots. And so I'm going to take the DR this morning. And uh, I'm going to cut some trails. I wanted to show it to you what it looks like now. I'm not going to... I've got a lot of DR footage on here. I don't know if there will be much of it combined with this video. We may throw some in there just to give you a sense of it. But um, I'm up here alone today, so I can't really video easily while I do the DR. Uh, it slows me down. So I'm going to show you kind of like a before, and then I'll show you what I've accomplished, okay? So looking up this way, you can see there's a lot of small saplings on the edge of the woods and inside there there's some larger stuff deep in there probably from here about i don't know <laughs> it, it cuts in and out kind of swirls back and forth the creek does but on average we're probably looking at about 50 yards from here that's where the creek is and so you can see that you know with winter here now there's a, a lot of the there, there's of course some high undergrowth in there but there's also some openings now there's trees down and around those trees that have went down there's obviously some growth that has come up all around there so we're going to avoid those i'm not going to be pulling the tractor out today and move anything i'm hoping to get a grapple real soon we're getting the third function installed on my case ih 75c real soon and uh, I'll kind of walk you through that in a different video and show you how that all goes. But in case you've not seen our DR Pro Max 34, uh, if you're new to the channel, you've not checked this out yet. That's the machine right there. And uh, I currently have about 13 hours on it almost. I added that. That was a little addition. But there's the shift throttle blade engagement that's the start stop this you'd let go of that and the machine stops immediately uh, this is the uh, engage for the transmission basically these are brakes on each side and all they do if you break this one it'll, it'll turn to the right if you break the left one it'll turn to the left um, but yeah this is 34 inches wide and got a nice heavy duty blade underneath nice and thick I've knocked a few notches out of it and uh, the thing's still cutting good but yeah I'm beating the fire out of it because I've been hitting some heavy stuff what I'm noticing now after about 13 hours of use is when I raised it up this thing wants to spin to the the right when I'm behind it it's to the right uh, to the left when I'm in front of it but anyway <clears throat> kind of drops over and I'm not sure what's causing that it's still under warranty so I may have that looked at anyway yeah you can kind of see what we're dealing with here it's gonna look good though I'll show you what it's gonna look like afterwards and we'll get all the way back to the creek all right well it went pretty good uh, right now I'm just cleaning out the air filter uh, because I used and abused this this guy today his nickname is dread the DR I've got little red as you probably know if you've been watching the channel I got big red and then I've got dread and uh, I tell you I love working with this thing but uh, it, it'll wear you out uh, it'll work on your shoulders if you're if you got a little age under you under your belt 
it'll definitely uh you'll need some ibuprofen that is for sure this is the 22 horsepower motor briggs and stratton things uh done great uh it's got a there's a couple little kinks going on with it nothing major i mentioned to you how it wants to shift over what happens is when i go backwards if it grabs a root or high dirt that will dig into it that piece right there and it will cock that whole deck to the right and of course i can't continue going uh, and so i got to go forward back and forth i'm getting a little used to dealing with it now it did not do that initially uh it just didn't uh, it started doing that after 10 or 11 12 hours and uh i'm not really sure why but uh other than that here's another issue this is a very important safety mechanism it's called operator presence when your hands on there this thing will run when you let go of it it'll die no longer is that working i let go it keeps running part of me likes that because i need to let go of it occasionally to uh you know like get out of the way of a limb or a briar and it really it's aggravating when you do that and this thing just dies however if you're falling backwards and you're still holding on to that and for any reason if you're still holding this one and it's in reverse it's coming back on you it doesn't stop unless you let go of that that, that item right there uh well either one of them but it, th this is nice to have a kill automatic kill switch so something's not hooked up i need to get in there and try to figure that out other than that it did great i mean uh, i pretty much ran it out of gas i added a little fuel the reason the uh, little red polaris is parked in front of it is i strapped it on and and just kind of towed it up here from down there on the uh, trails so i cut a little bit more i'm going to uh walk down well, actually i'm gonna grab uh blue my polaris 570 four-wheeler because the trails are a little narrow i took little red in there but it was uh it was challenging but uh this guy can go places that the other one can't so I'm gonna move some things around. I'm gonna take you down there and I'll show you the trails we did. Got some great openings near the creek. It's exciting and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So today is like the 23rd of December. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Look at this weather. It's going to be 70 degrees here on Christmas day and the day after Christmas and uh, bringing the family up. This will be the first time many of my kids uh, and grandkids have seen the place so we're going to you know have a little fire walk trails and so i wanted to come down today and and cut some extra trails to the creek a different section of the creek that i've not cut any trails to yet and i wanted to have that ready for them so they can enjoy it on christmas and uh, it's done it, it's pretty awesome it's a really nice part of the creek all right so if you weren't with me on um, one of my most previous videos, you'll, you've missed the, the driveway. We used the case bulldozer and we brought our driveway in through the woods, took out some trees and stuff. And anyway, it, when I got here this morning, I had no idea, but apparently it rained last night and I drove my truck up through there uh, expecting it to be pretty, you know, pretty dry and uh i quickly had to get four-wheel drive i was kind of spinning out just a little bit but we got on through it didn't rut it out too bad at all but anyway i'm on blue here and we are going to head on down to the trails that we cut and let you take a look at them so let's do it So 
this is where I was at earlier this morning when I was showing you the uh, the woods and how thick they were and I'm not gonna drive in and try to record I'm going to walk in and I'll be able to show you a lot better but yeah there's the, up there up the hill is our uh, cabin tiny house pole barn there and uh, I don't think I need my gloves I'm gonna just toss them right there for now but yeah here's the trail that we cut and uh, there's uh, two points where it opens up to the creek the first point the creek really curves in right in this area it's out down there it goes out over and then it comes way in right here i was really lucky to to pick this spot to go in so here we go this is the uh, the entry area and as you know this is this way is due north of our property as you can see there's the south the sun east west it's moving over it is right now about 3 30 in the uh afternoon in late december like i said tomorrow is christmas eve but uh oh i pulled out some stuff there i should must have pulled that out at the end didn't notice it need to get that cut up but gosh there's been so many i've got so many briars and thorns on all these trees here it's just insane i spent majority of my time pulling bunches of i just wrapping my leather gloves around those and yanking those out of trees and that was not easy to do but i did that all along the trail especially down there in the open area but that's what this is that's just a pile of briars i'm gonna pull this over to the side and just get it over here out of the way i must have when i was coming out earlier with a uh, little red i must have grabbed a hold of that because i was having to get off the trail a little bit to get through some certain areas not the case with blue it's gonna have plenty of rain we can always widen this thing up later anyway move this junk out of the way maybe i should have wore those gloves after all right let's just toss that over there okay so here we go as you know this terrain has a lot of ruts and humps where the water comes in from this creek but look at this just just beautiful there's a piece of a uh, siding that uh, we had some heavy winds it's somewhere upstream blew in the creek and has washed all the way down i'm going to get in there and try to get that out on christmas i'll come out here with some shorts i can throw on and take my shoes and socks off it's shallow there but isn't it beautiful looking down that way very pretty so as, as you know, going that way, we have quite a distance of creek and all the property on the side of the creek. So I'm gonna take trails, go through these woods, probably on up a little higher because it goes uphill there. I'm gonna go at the base of the hill and then I'm gonna come in at different sections like I have right here and uh, have additional spots where we can set up chairs, fire pits, chairs, tables, picnic tables, whatever, and have a good time. now. There's a really nice area. You see right over here with that cove that comes out there. That's nice gravel, like this is on the other side. But again, we've got this side of the creek, so I went up there and I opened up that area. So I took two trails. One, kind of a scenic route, and one of us is a shortcut. Scenic route's to the left. Shortcut's this way. Remember that tree there? We're gonna come back that way, but let's go the, the scenic route. So scenic route has the field up on my left. And the creek down on the right but we're kind of going back up toward the field we got a, a lot of open area here some of the bigger stuff of course i didn't take with the dr that's that big i'm not gonna mess with it with my dr anything much smaller than that just takes it right out but you can see how well that thing has cleared this area that's all been done again it's like i said about 3 30. i got here about 8 30. Uh, I, I went and grabbed a plate lunch at the local market down the road 
brought that back and set on the front patio up there and ate that made a few phone calls and uh so just casually have gotten this done but what took me so much time is right over here this is an opening that we already got cleared it was cleared when we purchased the property this creek up that way but we're curving back to the right here there is the shortcut that will get us back to that other spot we'll go that way shortly but let's go on up here to this really nice spot this is my favorite so far on this side of the opening anyway this will be our east side of the creek or east end of the creek we've been working on the west end down that way up until now got a couple pretty shag hickory trees here don't we boy they're big ones this one here's starting to it's been rotting on the inside for quite a long time let's hope it it stands and doesn't go anywhere for a while it's a monster they're just beautiful but here's the opening guys this is beginning to be a lovely place now Here's what's here's something very cool. So the main branch of the creek that we've been you've been seeing in other videos where I've cut trails is this branch right here coming in here. Now we have another branch that comes in from the north, the northwest, and it angles in this way. And of course, that's someone else's property over there. But uh, it comes into our branch over here as well. But I love the idea, I was planning on this, cutting a opening so that we can enjoy that view of these two branches coming together. I think that's really nice looking. And on down here, this is the pretty area. That's the beach, that is the beach. That's what we can call this little area. Let's go to the beach, this, this is it. Now, it's not too steep, but you can walk down there, but it's a little steep. If you walk over here, there is just a nice, gentle slope that will allow us to just walk right down to the Pebble Beach. Look at this tree, the roots laying up here, and there it lays going across the creek. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. But yeah, this is a nice little sloped area here. We've got us a tire down there by the tree roots some other debris and it looks like i'm not sure what somebody built a long time ago but there it is up against that tree some wood got caught in the current and came down this way but isn't that pretty so here we can just walk right down here to the water it's so cold it feels so good you just want to, not going to, but makes you just want to take a big drink. This will be a great place for the grandchildren to come and wade take the shoes off and what we need to do is get everybody some water shoes it's got a thick little rubber sole because these little stones they're sharp I don't want them to cut their feet it's just amazing how all these rocks of different shapes and sizes look all over the place I could sit for hours and just look at these things but yeah there's those two forks coming together can you hear it
All right, I'll walk you up and we'll go the, the shortcut to the other spot. I just love it out here, fellas. I tell you, it is, it's a dream come true to have this. You know, we're gonna be paying for it for a while. We're not debt free on it. Wish we were, but I'm uh, getting up there a little bit in age and I felt like it was, it was time to do this. I felt like, um, there was a need to be up here away from all the population don't get me wrong i mean this is there's there's towns not too far out from here and there are neighbors but compared to a big city or a uh, metro area of a big city all the suburbs that are growing and all the traffic and all the stuff that's going on i mean if stuff goes wrong we want a place that we can go and potentially be prepared to live off the land. That's, that's our goal. We're not anywhere close. Here I am cutting trails. And in the next six months, we might all be fighting for food. I've questioned that. I'm wondering if I'm wasting precious time Somebody left this out here a while ago, apparently. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm wasting precious time, excuse me, doing stuff like this, but I think what's equally important in life is equal to survival, is to enjoy life as you survive, to enjoy those you love, and to be with those you love, and to give them a place to, to have peace as well. Uh, I see this as a place that the kids and the grandkids can enjoy long after I'm gone. God willing that things are okay in this crazy world of ours. But yeah, here's the shortcut back. And you can see all these low spots where water has rushed through here when the creek is overflowed in areas i really got to get a handle on that because if i don't eventually the creek's going to move over this way permanently we don't want that to happen now what a beach on the other side there is that's not ours but it's our view and that's great that is beautiful that is gorgeous and that's where we came from so I hope that you uh, enjoyed today's video I enjoy doing these um, there's something that, about it that's kind of therapeutic it allows me to to share a little bit of what I'm doing you know I spend a lot of my time a lot of my life praying to God and uh, when you pray to God you're kind of talking to him just like this you're alone and this is how I talk to God and obviously I'm not talking to God now I'm talking to you guys but this is good practice so I'll just say this if any of you have not prayed and really don't know how to go about doing it it's as easy as doing this you know just tell him Thank you for all the wonderful blessings that he's provided to you in life. And thank, thank him for health and for family and for love. I mean, there's nothing greater that we have that, that we can enjoy as human beings than love. And with love, it's worth it. There are people out there that don't feel loved or don't feel like they have anyone to love I don't want you to give up because somebody most likely most likely somebody loves you and there are people that don't have parents that don't have siblings that have no one but I can promise you this 
you are loved. God commands us to love others as we love ourselves. And obviously that's hard to do. But uh, I will tell you that uh, you're loved. You're loved by Christian brothers and sisters. And uh, most importantly, you're loved by God. You're loved so much by God that He sent He sent His Son, Jesus, to and here here it is Christmas, you know, in, in a couple of days, and that's that's what's on my mind. He did come and he was born as a gift to this world so that there would be a way for us to find God personally. And to have a personal relationship with God without being perfect because God knew that we couldn't achieve perfection and that we never would and so his son which was God himself in the flesh came lived a life taught taught us lived among us among the people and taught us to love one another. In fact, Jesus was asked, what is the greatest commandment? And if I'm correct, he did say, love one another as you love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. And love the Lord thy God with all your heart. And so, love God because he loves you. Jesus lived for many years on this earth. He had a following of people. He started a, a following that will never end. It's the biggest following of mankind. Uh, it was designed that way. It's not by accident. I truly believe that He is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible says that no one comes to the Father except through Him. And so, what I did a long time ago is I asked Jesus to be my Lord and Savior so that uh, I wanted to follow Him. There was a reward for me for doing that like there is for you and that is eternal life. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Now, believing in Him is not just believing that He existed. It's believing that that He literally... It's sad to say it, but He died on a cross. He was crucified. He was executed by the government at the time. By people. And it was in God's plan. He was the, the sacrificial lamb. He, His blood was shed so that it could cover us and cleanse us of all of our sins. Our sins that we've committed in the past, our sins that we've committed today, and the sins we will commit in an hour and beyond tomorrow. If we just accept that and know that we're not in any way deserving of salvation or of heaven or eternal life, but it is absolutely the grace of God that we have that and it's the mercy that he's provided to us that we can enjoy it then you too can have eternal life and there's no better gift than that so after Jesus died he was resurrected he's alive he uh sits at the right hand of God Almighty. I don't know how that works because they're they're one and the same. There's three, the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but God's so much bigger than us, we just we can't comprehend it. But I wanted to share that good news with you. He's not dead, he's alive. And he's there interceding for us every day if we love him and if we've given our hearts to him if if he's our Lord. And the Bible says that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one deserves heaven. And we don't have to earn it. 
But what we do have to do is put Him as the Lord of our life. And that means that we try, that we truly, really have in our heart the love for Him that that proves to Him that, that we're His children, that proves to Him that we've given our 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 life to him not not because we're perfect no but because because we love him i don't know i mean there's a lot of people that can say it a whole lot better than me but um, i just wanted to share that with you i was not planning saying any of that and i hope that uh if this offends you that you'll know that these things are only being said out of love because i believe it if i didn't believe it I wouldn't be saying it and if I didn't say it but yet I believed it then I would not be doing what I should do because if I truly love you and I do because we're commanded to love one another I love what's good about you I love what's good about me I hate what's bad about me I think it was it Peter that said something similar to that in the Bible Every day, you know, we have an inside battle. Uh, we hate the flesh, the, the part of us that thinks bad thoughts, does bad things. But we, we got to love the part of us that is a servant of Jesus Christ, a servant of God. You know, a lot of people say, I don't want to call him Jesus. I just want to call it the creator or nature or whatever it is. Well, I all I can say is that what I have been taught my whole life, I think we've got to be more specific than just that. But only God can judge. I am not the judge. But for me and my house, I pray we will all serve the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for being with me today. And uh, Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you next time.